Good morning. Hey, today we're gonna go to the Musical Instrument Museum. I found it online and it looks like it's a great place. This is one of the first videos of the Beat the Heat in Arizona videos that we'll be doing for you. I wanna thank all of our new subscribers. Good job. And if you like this video, please go ahead and click the uh, icon, subscribe button, and give it a like. So we're gonna hop in the car and head over to the Musical Instrument Museum, which is in North Phoenix. We'll see you there. at the Musical Instrument Museum in North Phoenix. Just a little bit about the Musical Instrument Museum. It's really interesting because they wanted to create a museum that would be a truly global museum for instruments. Primarily Western-based classical instruments. The founder, Bob Ulrich, wanted this new type of museum that would be focused on these instruments by everyday people so that it would be enriching, interesting and fun for people that go through it. Inside the museum there's more than 8,000 instruments from over 200 countries in the world. That's a lot. I'm really interested about the museum because I play an instrument myself. I play the trumpet and you might have heard me playing in some of the videos that we show. We're gonna go inside, take a tour of the museum, and take a look and see what they have because their motto is music is the language of the soul so let's go inside and take a look as we entered the museum i felt a sense of awe at the vast size and splendor of this museum plus it was cool and had air conditioning a great place to beat arizona's summer heat the friendly staff greeted us and we basically got on our way first stop is the guitars. This one is really interesting. This is called the octo bass. Two octaves below the violin or the cello. I think this has to be my favorite guitar though in the museum. The air guitar. There's a lot more guitar guys. I think that one's quite interesting. It's a voodoo guitar. There's a lot of guitars here from all different parts of the world. Spain, France, Brazil, India, Chicago, Illinois, Scotland, Rhode Island, New York, Australia, Russia, Belarus, England, California, South Africa, Germany, Ontario, Canada, and Scottsdale, Arizona. Then we rode the elevator up into the first continent, which was Asia. As we walked through Asia, I felt the huge diversity of musical instruments and the cultures within each one of these countries. Now that we're in Asia, they have a lot of things organized by area like South Korea. And then we'll walk over here and we'll look at musical instruments from China. Within China, we can go over and take a look at their area of Tibet or in North China. But we're gonna keep looking and see if we can find the Philippines. You can see that all the different parts of Asia are so diverse in their musical instruments and even in the uh, costumes that they wear for uh, performing their music. After walking through Asia, we finally came to my wife's own country, the Philippines. Okay, we found it. We are coming into the country of Philippines. This is the section that they've set aside for the musical instruments that they have in the Philippines. We'll take a look at those and see what those are. I'll just give you kind of a quick rundown of the different instruments. All right, guys, we are continuing in the section for Philippines but I don't know how to pronounce a lot of these instruments, so I'm gonna ask my wife to go through and pronounce them and give us give us a, a little hand with that. So why don't we start with the flat gongs? I will try my best, okay. because I don't know some of these. Mm -hmm. But so. let's try it. 
Which one first? Is that Palingbing. The... Palingbing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Palingbing. And then what this below one that? Gangsa. Gangsa. This one is Paldong. Paldong. Patanggok. Say it again. Patanggok. <laughs> Patanggok. <laughs> and, and what was that? Percussion tube. Oh, percussion tube. Okay. Then up here. Tonggali, I think. A nose. I'm not, I don't even know this thing. A nose Until flute. Until now. Tonggali or Tongali. Insi. This one is Insi. It's from Maranao. Maranao people. This one in the now. Mm -hmm. This one is Taugo. What about down here? This one is Libit. And that one is Gandang. I wonder it's if these are used in any rituals today. Yeah, maybe in a rural areas. What about these here? This one is Tinonggong. A drum? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one is Dadabuan. Dadabuan. Mm -hmm. Another drum, okay. This one is Lit Lit. Oh, it's a bowed crazy. lute, so it's probably like a, a violin, I would imagine. Okay, what about these? These are really interesting looking this one here. This is Sludoi. Uh -huh. Sludoi. <laughs> first time I heard all this air, you know, seen this. Uh huh, I know. I've even seen this before in the Philippines. What about this? So, Higilong. A lute. Okay, Higilong. like a guitar, I guess. This one here. Kujapi. Mm -hmm. I heard about this, Kujapi. Okay. And then, Down Tambul. Here. Drum. It's a drum, yeah. Okay, what about the one in the back? That one's really interesting that looking. That one, it's a kulintang. A gong chime. A gong chime. From and the early 1920s, 1930s. And the upper part is the gabang. Gabang or gabang? The xylophone. Okay, and then what about then this? One right here in the agong. corner. Knopped a gong is what they agong. call it. Yeah, agong. Agong or agong. And then the one on the top is bangibang. Percussion bar. It's from Northern Luzon, Ifugao. Seems like a lot of these instruments are from Luzon, but I'm sure they were used uh, quite extensively through the Philippines in a lot of different parts. We don't know if any of these instruments are still being used or where, but if you happen to know, just uh, let us know in the comments below. I'm finding these instruments really interesting because they are uh, bamboo copies basically of modern instruments. You have the baritone, the French horn, the trumpet, trombone, saxophone, all made from bamboo, and even a tuba. These are normally brass instruments, what, or what they you know, would be called brass instruments, but in this case, they are bamboo or made from wood. They're woodwinds. Take a look at this one, guys. This is called a tabo. It is from the Philippines. It's quite large. Must be about eight feet tall. Quite difficult to play, do you think? It's interesting that the museum divides itself into different continents, and within each continent, there are countries. So we spent a few more hours walking through Europe, Latin America, and Africa. Scotland, home of the McKinsey clan. Wondering how you can get up there to play. We finally came to North America and Canada, and we were in for a real treat. The jazz section also have a lot of the uh, the modern instruments for jazz: trumpet, saxophone, bass guitar, keyboards, bass clarinet. What a great place to finish up our tour! We saw the different styles of the music that had its origins right here within the USA. All right, I want to show you um, a display that is called the Tree of Life, which is supposed to illustrate the the role of music in Mexican life. It's important to remember that music began in North America with Native American Indians. Their tribal music was highly varied, but was mostly religious in purpose. Okay, this display is called Big Drum and Pow Wow Time, the celebrations that North American tribes had. And in future videos, we'll talk about North American Indian tribes or Native American tribes and explain what their role is in the United States and Canada. But they've got a huge display of Native American costumes and instruments that were used for celebrations and worship. Ragtime and minstrel songs from the 19th century of African Americans have greatly influenced music today also. Blues and gospel, jazz, country music, soul, rhythm and blues, funk, pop music, rock, metal, and punk all have a home at the Musical 
Instrument Museum. I hope you liked the tour of the Musical Instrument Museum, Phoenix, Arizona. Wow, we could have spent hours and hours going through everything. It was incredible. I would say that you have to come and visit it yourself if you love musical instruments, if you play music. It's a must-see to beat the heat in Arizona. Again, I play the trumpet and I particularly like the, the brass section and all of those instruments, seeing the progression of like the 1800s trumpets all the way through the modern trumpets. So to me, that was pretty awesome. Guys, thanks for watching. We have new viewers. We appreciate you very much. Leave comments, please subscribe and like our channel. This is David, your traveling tutor, telling you to come and visit the Musical Instrument Museum. Take care. Thank you.